Hi guys, Felicia White here. Today I'm continuing my series on the book titled The Magic by Rhonda Byrne. And we are uh, on day three titled Magical Relationships. Imagine if you were the only person on earth. You would have no desire to do anything. What would be the point in creating a painting if no one could see it? What would be the point in composing music if no one could hear it? What would be the point in inventing anything if there was no one to use it? There would be no reason to move from one place to another because wherever you went would be the same as where you were. No one would be there. There would be no pleasure or joy in your life. It's your contact and experiences with other people that give your life joy, meaning, and purpose. Because of that, your relationships affect your life more than anything else. To receive the life of your dreams, it's vital that you understand how your relationships affect your life now and how they are the most powerful channels for gratitude to start magically changing your life. Science is now confirming the wisdom of the great sages of the past with research studies showing that people who practice gratitude have closer relationships, are more connected to family and friends, and have other people look upon them favorably. But probably the most astounding statistic that has come out of research studies is that for every one complaint about another person, whether in thought or word, there have to be 10 blessings for the relationship to flourish. And any less than 10 blessings for every one complaint and the relationship will deteriorate. deteriorate and if the relationship is a marriage, it will most likely end in divorce. Gratitude makes relationships flourish. As you increase your gratitude for any relationship, you will magically receive an abundance of happiness and good things in that relationship. And gratitude for your relationships doesn't change only your relationships, it also changes you. No matter what your temperament is now, gratitude will give you more patience, understanding, compassion, and kindness to the point where you won't even recognize yourself. The tiny the little irritations you once felt and the complaints you had in your relationships will disappear because when you're truly grateful for another person, there's nothing you want to change about that person. You won't criticize, complain about, or blame them because you're too busy being grateful for the good things about them. In fact, you won't even be able to see the things you used to complain about. Words are very powerful, so when you complain about any person, you actually harm your life. It is your life that will suffer. By the law of attraction, whatever you think or say about another person, you bring to you. This is the very reason why the greatest minds and teachers of the world have told us to be grateful. They knew that for you to receive more in your life, for your life to magically increase, you have to be grateful for others just as they are. What if every person close to you said, I love you just the way you are? How would you feel? Today's magic pra magical practice is being grateful for people just as they are. Even if all your relationships are currently good, they will increase with more magnificence through this practice. And with everything you find to be grateful for in each person, you will see gratitude perform its breathtaking magic and your relationships will be stronger, more fulfilling, and more enriching than you ever thought they could be. Choose three of your closest relationships to be grateful for. You might choose your wife, your son, and your father, or your boyfriend, your business partner, and your sister. You might choose your best friend, your grandmother, and your uncle. You can choose any three relationships that are important to you as long as you have a photograph of each person. The photograph can be just of the person or the both of you together. Once you have selected your three relationships and photographs, you are ready to set the magic into motion. Sit down and think about the things you are mo the most grateful for about each person. What are the things you love the most about this person? What are their best qualities? You could be grateful for their patience, ability to listen, talent, strength, good judgment, wisdom, laugh, sense of humor, eyes, smile, or kind heart. You could be grateful for the things you enjoy doing with the person, or you can recall a time when the person was there for you, cared for, or supported you. After you've spent some time thinking about what you're grateful for about the person, put their photograph in front of you. And with a pen and notebook or on your computer, choose the five things you are the most grateful for. Look at the photograph of the person as you make your list of five things. Begin each sentence with the magic words. 
Thank you. Address the person by their name and then write what you're grateful for. Thank you, blank, their name. For what? Blank. For example, thank you, John, for always making me laugh. Or thank you, Mom, for supporting me through college. When you've finished your list for all three people, continue this magical practice by taking the photographs with you today and putting them in a place where you will see them often. When, whenever you look at the photographs today, thank the person by saying the magic works, words thank you and the person's name. Thank you, Haley. If you're moving around a lot, carry the photographs with you in your bag or pocket and make an effort to look at the photographs three times during the day following the same procedure. Now you know how to use gratitude's magical power to transform your relationships into magical relationships. Although it is not part of the requirement of this book, you may want to take this amazing practice and use it every day if necessary to make every relationship you have magnificent. You can use it on the same relationship as many times as you want. The more you can be grateful for the good things in your relationships, the faster every relationship in your life will miraculously change. So, magic practice number three, magical relationships. Number one, repeat steps one to three of, magical, of magic practice number one, count your blessings, make a list of ten blessings, write why you're grateful, Reread your list and at the end of each blessing say thank you, thank you, thank you. And feel as grateful for that blessing as you can. Number two, choose three of your closest relationships and collect a photograph of each person. Number three, with the photo in front of you, write five things you are most grateful for about each person in your journal or on your computer. Four, begin each sentence with the magic words thank you, include their name, and what you're specifically grateful for. Five, carry the three photographs with you today or put them in a place where you will see them often. Look at the photographs on at least three occasions. Speak to the person's face in the photograph and thank them by saying the magic words, thank you, and their name. Thank you, Haley. Six, before you go to sleep, take your magic rock in one hand and say the magic words, thank you, for the best thing that happened during the day. So that concludes... The Magic by Rhonda Bird, day three. Go ahead and like, share, and comment below. And at the end of this blog post, uh, you're going to see a link to grab your copy of The Magic by Rhonda Bird. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.